this episode of Galas and Giving, Shaw TV Spotlight and Local Charity, Albertans support their country get-ups for building magic in the air, an event supporting Stars Air Ambulance. Over 200 cowgirls and cowboys gathered for an evening of Western fun and giving. But for Rebecca Fillinger, it meant so much more. The first time we used STARS was in April of 2009. I was 29 weeks pregnant, sorry, <laughs> um, with my son Roman. And I had, um, it was an everyday average Saturday and then suddenly I just became extremely ill. Having gone into septic shock, Fillinger was airlifted to Rocky Mountain House where she delivered her son three days later. And this isn't the end. Fast forward to 2011, uh, Rowan was two years old and he fell into our bonfire on our rural property. So we were again airlifted. Rowan um, received burns to 40% of his body. He spent six weeks at the Alberta Children's Hospital. Um, 21 days of that was in pediatric intensive care. Now a happy and healthy five-year-old, Rowan can play with his many brothers and sisters thanks to the help that flew to his side. A feeling of comfort and reassurance felt by all those in the room. We do a lot of work in the construction industry, both rural and urban, and it's always nice to know we have someone there if we need to come into our sites to help a worker in need. So we think STARS is very important in that regard and we're, we're very happy to support them. There's nothing more important than emergency response. Uh, we've had a long-term relationship with STARS. We intend to keep that going. Hoping to raise over $200,000, STARS says funds from nights like this are always needed. From keeping 11 helicopters in the sky to up-to-date training. This year, uh, the committee has decided to fund a pediatric simulator, um, so it'll purchase two of our pediatric sims, so they'll use one here in Alberta, or sorry, in Edmonton, and one in Calgary, and uh, what it is, is it's a lifelike mannequin that uh, mimics a 40-week-old baby, and it helps train our medical staff to be the best it can be. Guests were quick to bid on silent auction items, made easy by portable tablets, while live auction items, such as food truck barbecues for 100 guests, had people digging deep, especially after a solemn reminder of why they were there. They placed them in a helicopter, and they flew away. Standing there, I watched until it was just a black speck on the horizon. And I did not know if I had just said my final goodbye. If you would like to support Stars Air Ambulance and the life-saving services they provide, head to foundation.stars.ca. Thanks for joining me on this episode of Gallows and Giving. I'm your host, Brienne McLaughlin.